Tyler here with GP Knives, and today we have the Boker Plus Slack. This is a slip joint style folder designed by French knife maker Raphael Durand, and is based off of the traditional Mediterranean design, the Navaja. This is a more modern interpretation with a blade made from VG10 stainless steel. It's got a nice hand rubbed satin finish with a long swedge for a very fine tip. A nice seamless construction with the blade and backspacer. And we've got a modern G10 composite handle material with inset stainless steel liners that have been milled to reduce the overall weight. And the weight on this knife comes in at under 2.5 ounces. So despite this being a nice full size knife with plenty of cutting edge, it is exceptionally lightweight and easy to carry. Uh, this is a slip joint style folder. The back spring on this is quite strong and does take two hands to close. And as you can see, there's not so much of a half stop as there is sort of a half speed bump there, but it does prevent the knife from coming fully closed from the full open position. We've got a nice snap there and a very clean and sleek look overall. And there is no nail nick on this either but it is very easy to open by simply pinching the blade and opening it as such. Now here for a quick size comparison, I'm going to bring in the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. And you can see that these knives are quite different in size and design, but if you look closely, you'll notice that the cutting edge on the two is actually very close with the slack actually having just a little more cutting edge. So despite it being quite a compact package overall, you're getting plenty of cutting edge for some serious use. Blade stock thickness is going to be a little thinner on the slack, but it actually has a finer point thanks to that long swedge. The nearly full height flat grind on that is going to provide exceptional slicing performance. And the handle, while being a little bit shorter than the functional handle length of the Paramilitary 2 is very close and does provide a solid four finger grip for some serious use. And thanks to the strength of that back spring, you can actually put a fair amount of pressure on that without having fear of the knife closing. So you can get some pretty powerful cuts utilizing that method. As you may have noticed, the slack has no pocket clip, as is the case with many traditional slip joint folders. It does have a nice hole here for a lanyard if you choose to carry your knife with a lanyard. And of course, it does come with a nice leather slip pouch for pocket carry. So this is just a little leather pouch that stows the knife and helps to protect it from other items in the pocket while carrying. And the knife is a nice slim size. It may be a little bit long in the closed position for some fifth pocket carry, but it is definitely manageable in certain circumstances. And thanks to the sub three ounce weight of the knife and the slim profile, it carries very well. And quickly, I wanted to compare the slack to a couple of other slip joint folders. We have it here with the Benchmade proper. These are both modern construction with G10 scales and stainless liners. They are also both stainless steel blades with the slack having VG10 and the proper having CPMS 30V. So these are both going to offer modern performance in terms of materials and construction. And they are fairly similar in the size in terms of the handle with the slack having a longer blade with a higher height grind, which is going to enhance the slicing performance on that. And then we also have it here with the Great Eastern Cutlery. I believe this is a Model 48. So you can see the traditional influences in the design here with the sort of long clip point blade and the sweeping lines of the handle. But of course, the GEC is a more traditional folder with 1095 blade steel bolsters and a wood handle. And of course, it does also have multiple blades. You can also see here the difference in thickness, both in the blade stock and the handle. And of course, part of that is going to be due to that dual blade construction. But you can see the elements of these three knives being very similar. 
with the slack having a nice combination of traditional design and modern construction and materials. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and the Boker Plus Slack designed by French knife maker Raphael Durand. You can check it out now at gpknives.com. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.